Shalom to the hopeful elect. First, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Salutes to you, Archim, teaching this word to the hopeful elect in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, this video, I'm going to be speaking about the Lord's coming. All right. And this is what we really, you know, um, hasten for, man. You know, we want to see the day of our Lord. All right. So this is Revelations 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are none. Right? This is uh, our Lord uh, his, and his, upon his return. He says he cometh with clouds, which those clouds is representing the, the so-called UFOs. Right? The chariots, as the scriptures call them. Right? And they're going to be... Uh, uh, Hey, thousands upon thousands man that they're gonna be a, a whole army okay and they're gonna invade this earth with the lord leading the charge all right it says behold meaning to look because it says every eye shall see him all right that day when the lord shows up it's not gonna be missed by anyone no one's gonna say they oh oh you know their alarm clock didn't go off and they just missed the, the return of the lord they, they just they didn't they didn't see it no man this going to be an event that's going to change the whole earth all right people all nations all eyes they're all going to see the lord in his glory returning and it says and they which pierced him so that's talking about those that actually put the lord on the cross all right 2000 years ago okay they're going to be here it's the same spirit in different flesh because these people they all have been on the earth before Okay, the scriptures talk about reincarnations. Right? That's why, um, you know, the, the reward for the disciples and the prophets, right, is going to come in the kingdom of heaven, which is when the Lord returns. All right. He said that they will be on thrones with him, judging the nations. Okay. So that shows you that those that died in the past for the Lord, that are of the elect, they're going to get a reward in the, in the last days. And that shows you also that the wicked, all right, they're going to get a, uh, you know, a reward, which their reward is going to be judgment and destruction, all right, and punishment in these last days, all right? The Lord is going to come back for vengeance, all right? That's why it says all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, all right? They're going to be in sorrow. They're going to be shouting out. They're going to be pleading and begging, but the Lord is just going to come with that sword, all right, that destruction, all right? And especially with those chariots, Right? They're going to be a big part of the Lord's power, right? showing his, his great power in the earth, right? especially when these militaries, uh, Esau soldiers, you know, when they try and, and go against the Lord, he's going to just zap them. It's going to be easy. It's gonna, he's, the Lord is going to slaughter Esau and these nations, their drones, their fire jets, all of their weapons and their uh, militaries, man. Right, but Isaiah 66 and 15 says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind from every side, all angles. He's, the Lord is going to come from the heavens all right, and invade this whole earth. All right, visit all nations with judgment. It says, To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right, the Lord is going to show these people that they have been doing wickedness. Right, he's going to correct everything that's been wrong in the earth. And it's going to be with fire and judgment. Because the, the end destruction of these wicked uh, kingdoms, namely America, is going to be with fire. right? Nuclear fire with, from missiles as a result of World War Three, And more fire from the chariots when the Lord brings that, uh, that um, you know, those flames. <laughs> right? Flames of fire. It says, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the Lord is not coming for jokes. The Lord is coming to put bodies down. All right, because these people, they've been so wicked and proud against the Lord. When he comes, he's just going to unleash his judgment. All right, when the heavenly father says it's that time, the Lord is going to return and save his elect and bring destruction upon his enemies. That's why it says by, by fire and by a sword, which is destruction, 
the Lord is going to plead with all flesh. So all flesh, the Lord, he's not going to just negotiate with them. He's not going to create a deal with them. He's not going to turn up to the uh, nations and have a meeting, you know, and, and, and talk things out. No, he's going to plead, man, which means judge. He's going to judge them. All right. And it says many bodies are going to drop because the Lord, he's not playing any games. It's not going to be any mercy. All right. The, 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 the wicked have been, um, you know, ruling in the earth and they've been doing their wickedness for long. All right. So the Lord is just going to bring in the time where it's, it's over with. All right. No more. All right, and those chariots, man, they're gonna bug a lot of people out, you know, because that a lot of times people they thought the chariots was just something like in a, a sci fi movie, you know. But Esau knows about the chariots, the US military they know about the chariots, they got the reports on them, they got the witnesses, all right. And the Lord is coming with them, and they're gonna be a great terror and threat unto these nations, all right. This is Psalm 68 and 17, the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So those are those UFOs, man. All right? So-called, which they're, they're the chariots of our Lord. All right? And there's going to be a multitude of them. All over the skies. All over. Right? Doing different maneuvers. Right? Disappearing. Reappearing. You know, going through buildings. Going through water and... and Doing all types of things, man. Might blow up a mountain. It might, you know, destroy a whole city. You know, all these things is coming. You know, and it says the Lord is among them. The Lord's going to be leading it. All right. And it says thousands of angels. The angels are going to be with them as well, man. I and mean, it takes one angel to bring complete damage to this whole earth. So how much when a multitude of angels come? Okay. It's just going to be a time like, like never before. All right, um, let me see if I can get a few more scriptures. Uh, all right, yeah, I got that scripture. All right, um, you know, uh, this is a chariot scripture, okay? You know, when the Lord returns with the chariots, you know, it's going to bring a destruction, but it's also going to bring salvation too, man. All right, this is Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. So as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. All right? And Jerusalem is a people before the place. So the Lord's people, the elect, the chosen Israelites, they're going to be defended. But it says as birds flying. And how do birds fly? They fly in formation. All right, you see like that spread out V formation all right, with one uh, head leading the charge and then the rest following behind. All right, when the Lord's army comes, all right, the chariots, you know, the angels, they're going to come in style. They're going to come in formation, all right, in different patterns. You know, they're going to come with great power and glory and it's going to be to defend Jerusalem. All right, he's going to, you know... um, you know, those that have the mark of exemption, you know, they're going to receive mercy and the Lord is going to pass over them. All right. He's going to preserve and deliver us. All right. And we're actually going to be beamed up into those chariots, man. The Lord is actually going to uh, deliver his elect that way, man, for when the destruction comes. All right. So let's get that in. This is First Thessalonians 4 and verse 16. It says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High. And the dead in Yahweh Shai Mashiach shall rise first. So the Lord is going to come down from heaven, all right? Man, into this realm where we are, he's gonna visit this earth, all right, with a and it's gonna be announced. There's gonna be a horn. There's gonna be noise that the Lord is gonna show up, all right, as a as a king, all right, over ho the whole 
uh, earth over all, right? The scripture says every knee shall bow and tongue confess that he is Lord. Okay, now it says, and the dead shall rise first, man. So those that died in the Lord, that died in the faith, in the faith, right? They're going to be risen up, right? They're going to be risen up in glory with the Lord, all right? It shows you that there is salvation even if you lose your life for the Lord, right? Verse 17, then we which are alive and remain, which, you know, those are going to be the elect that have endured until the end through the whole Jacob's trouble, through the whole, uh, you know, famine, martial law and, and, and earthquakes and, you know, all the, the tribulation that has come upon the earth, all right? That the Lord has uh, delivered them from those situations, they're going to be uh, remaining. All right, they're going to be at the end, still on the earth. Okay, and the Lord is going to come for them. It says, "Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds." Those clouds again. All right, they represent the chariots of our Lord. Okay, that's what that's talking about. We're going to be caught up together, beamed up. Into those ships, the Lord is going to pick us up from off the earth and take us into the those chariots. It says to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. All right, because our time of captivity is going to be over. That time you're going to know you're of the elect. That time you, you're going to know, you know that you, you you're going to be forever blessed. All right. Throughout all the hell and tribulation that we would have gone through to be delivered and to meet the Lord in the air. After that, the kingdom. Okay, that's when the kingdom is going to be established, right, on the earth. And we're going to rule forever. Okay, we're going to have that peace. All right, and that's why we want our Lord to return. We want that day of the Lord because that's what's going to bring our kingdom, all right, which is going to be forever. All right, so I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, it was edifying. All right, just a, you know, quick video on some chariots, right, the day of our Lord. And, um, yeah, Lord willing, it was edifying unto you, uh, hopeful elect. So I'll end it there. All praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahashah, Waharaka, Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and to the hopeful elect, Shalom.